Did you know that in Affinity Designer for iPad, you can edit publisher documents? That's right. On your iPad, you can open an Affinity Publisher document and page by page, you can edit almost every part of that document. The first step in this process is to locate the Affinity Publisher document that you want to open. Once you know where it is, then move to Affinity Designer and open up Designer. Then open up a document, in my case from the cloud, and point it at the Publisher document that you want to open. Now you can see in the diagram there, in the, in the image, I've got Affinity Publisher directory open. And there's the document, the red arrow pointing to it. However, it's Affinity Designer for iPad that I have open. So you open the document in Designer, and the very first thing you do is save a working copy. Don't ever work on the original, just in case you mess it up. Now, just in case you missed that, well, here we are again with our copy open, with our document open. So save a working copy, close the original, and open your copy so that you know for a fact that you're working on the copy. Don't take a chance on the fact that you're working on the copy when you may be working on the original. Close the original, open the copy. You can now safely edit your document. Now that you have your working copy open, you can begin editing and you can select the page you want to, edit, want to edit by selecting Pages from the Command menu or the Document menu up the top left hand side there. It's a picture of a little folded page there next to the three dots. Once you've got that open, you can select the word Pages. See, it's third from the bottom and that will bring up the little display, the context toolbar just in the center of your document there. Now you can use the little arrows that are at the left or the right of that, that little display there, they're faint arrows, but you can scroll left or right through your pages there. Or you can tap the word spread and that will show you all the pages in your document, assuming you have more than one, and you can go to that page by selecting it. It will show you the entire list of pages. What can you do in editing mode? Well, you can do almost anything that you can normally do in your um, publisher document. You can add images and you can work on graphics. Or you can work on text. You can see there I've added some text. This is an edit done in Designer. It's my publisher document and it's a short story I've written. But this is an edit done in Designer, just as it says there. You can add text, change fonts, Modify text, delete text, do what you like. Okay, let's move on to the video I've made and I'll take you through all the steps um, by recording from the screen on my iPad as we go through opening the document, making some changes and closing it down again. Amazing to think that you can use Affinity Designer on the iPad to open and edit documents made, created in Affinity Publisher on the desktop. Of course, we don't have a version of Publisher for the iPad yet, but you can still use Designer to do it. Now, let me take you through the steps. It's really fairly straightforward, and I've got a few things open already. So let's go to Open from the Cloud, because that's where I keep my documents. And you'll see I've got the directory set to Affinity Publisher. There's the iCloud Drive. Affinity Designer, Photo, and Affinity Publisher is there. Now, the first one, Publisher Edits, you can see I've already opened one there. Now, that's still in the Affinity Publisher folder, and that's fine. So let's have a look at the next one. I've opened the one next to it. Now, that's got an umbrella in it. It doesn't really matter. That's, that's one that I've edited previously. Let's go out of that. I'll close that down. Oops. Close that down. Yes. Let's see if we can find an unedited publisher document. Line spacing, format. There's quite a few documents there. Okay, let's open the original. 
This is one that I've done before, just like a cooking show. This is one that I made previously. However, now that it's open in Designer, remember, that's a publisher document. How do we get to look at the pages? Because that's just one page. Go to the menu at the top there, and you'll see that's the document menu, that one there. Go right down near the bottom, and the third from the bottom is Pages. Just tap on Pages, and you can see Page 1, Page 2 and 3, Page 4 and 5, Page 6 and 7. That's Chapter 1. If you want to see the whole lot, just tap on the word Spread, and you can go to any page you like, Page 20 to 21. There's Chapter 8. Now, if you want to make some changes to that, let's select... The artistic text tool. Drag that around there. And you can see the cursor slowly flicking right on the last line where it says, and the train was slowing. Press the enter key, the enter key again. And let's just put some nonsense text in there. Maybe you've forgotten a sentence, or you want to tidy up a sentence, or you want to change a sentence. There we go. Let's make that not Palatino, but Passion 1. There it is, and let's make it a larger size. That text is now part of your document. You want to change pages? Let's go up to there, to Pages, and... Find the spread, go to page 2 and 3. Is that the page I want? No, there it is. Now I've put that in there, I can take that out. By going up to the Move tool. No, we don't want the Node tool. The Move tool. And cut. Now there's that image gone. It's that easy. Of course, you can now go and save the document. That'll save it back to where we had it before, but without the image in it. Or I could put a different image in. It's too easy. Place an image. I'll take one from there. Um, there's some 123RF files. Now, what do we want in there? Something appropriate. Something appropriate to the story. There we go. Loading from photos and let's put that one in there. And center it in the document. There we go. There's our new page, front page. Save. Now, if you're on the road, if you're not anywhere near your desk and you want to edit your publisher file, just remember that if you've got Affinity Designer on the iPad and you have all your documents in the cloud like a good worker can <laughs> then you can work on your publisher file using Designer from anywhere you happen to be sitting in the coffee lounge, on the train um, in the bar, wherever you like go back to there and you can see the picture's different there we can save that we can open it up again, we can export it, you can export it to a PDF file. Because it's a document, it will save as a PDF file. Publisher edits in designer for iPad, let's call that 01, just to make it different from anything I might have before. And where will we put it? Affinity Designer? Let's put it in my spare directory, Affinity Publisher. We'll save it there. We'll exit that. We'll exit that. We'll go to Files. And iCloud Drive. 
Let's find AF Publisher, AF Designer, AF Assets. I could probably do this better, couldn't I? Date, name. There's AF Publisher. And there's the document. And it should be in PDF format. And there it is. And there's the edit we made. This is an edit done in Designer. Did we do any more edits? And there's the other one. Now the old man looked around. Now that's a PDF file, remember? So you can edit your publisher documents on the run using Affinity Designer for iPad. Too nice.